Guess who's back? Danny Mac. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. No. Uh, I want to start off today uh, letting everyone know what, what's been going on with, with the videos. Of course, we we were during the, up there during Elvis' birthday. Uh, enjoyed that. Before I get into that, though, we were actually sick. As you know, as we said, uh, all of us, mom, dad, everybody has uh, had the mess, this mess going on. Well, we actually caught it again. Uh, after Elvis week, I know, I'm sorry, not Elvis week, uh, Elvis's birthday, and uh, we talked to a lot, of, a lot of friends and, and family up there, uh, and seems like all of us have had the crud at one time or another, or a couple times this year. But hopefully, we're done with that, and we're ready to get back into some of these videos. Uh, like I said, I want to say again, man, we had a fantastic time up at John Daly's. Uh, at the Holiday Inn Express, as always, uh, it was great talking to uh, all of you, meeting new people that we haven't met, and uh, like I said, it was it was fantastic. But we're gonna get this thing rolling off today with uh, some questions that come in. All right, in reference to the furniture shopping with Elvis video, what happened to all the things Elvis bought for your trailer? Did it get sold as time and taste changed? Some of the the some of the, th the things, yes, uh, we did get rid of. Uh, a lot of things we still have. As a matter of fact, I have, I hope you can see it. These two uh, lamps were in our trailer up there that I was bought that night. Also, uh, this mirror was in our, our dining room. I, I always loved this mirror, and, and Mom and Dad let, let me have it to put in our home down here. And like I said, they still, they've still got... Uh, some of the things you know, we we still have a lot, a lot of items that that uh, Elvis gave us at one time or another, and and like I said, some of them we you know we we've, uh, we've shared or let go to to people to let them enjoy them. Okay. Next question. Danny, were you ever in the military? I was. I was uh, actually in the Mississippi Army National Guard uh, for six years. Uh, I was a 19 Echo tanker, and of course, the reason I went in to uh, the tank division was because that's what Elvis was. And, and uh, I just was always fascinated with the tanks. Uh, I did my basic in AIT at uh, Fort Knox and uh, really enjoyed my military time. Love, love the military, uh, support our military. Appreciate each and every one of you. Did any of you kids have a nanny? We did not necessarily have a nanny. Uh, and I'm assuming when when mom and dad were were uh, with Elvis or going out and stuff like that during during regular times of like just say going out maybe to the movies or certain things that the kids didn't go, uh, we stayed at Graceland. A lot of times, uh, uh, Charlie Hodge would watch us. Uh, some of the housekeepers uh, would would watch us. Uh, I know in the early years, uh, actually, you know, had babysitters that you know that. Mom and Daddy hired out, uh, you know, through a babysitting uh, company. But uh, as far as a, a, a so-called real nanny, I, I wouldn't say so. No. Your mamma kept you when. Your mom yeah, uh, yeah, and uh, like when, when, uh, as I've said before, when Mom and Daddy went on tour and stuff, and we didn't go, uh, my grandmother uh, and my granddaddy kept us. Uh, sometimes, uh, you know, we'd stay with some other family. But most of the time, my grandmother and them, we'd either go to theirs or they would come up and, and stay at our trailer at Graceland and, and, and watch us. Uh, this person says, just curious, what time you guys get up during the day and go to sleep? <laughs> That's a good one. Mm. Excuse me. Well, I'm going to speak for myself first. Uh, when I'm working, of course, I, I you know, I, I get up early mornings. Uh, I have work some some night jobs but the schedule is still kind of it's still kind of hard it's still from from i guess when you grow up and you live it you just never let it go i mean at nighttime it's it's hard for me to to, to go to bed uh early at all uh, most of the time it's it's somewhere between 11 and midnight uh and then like i said i you know if if i'm working i, I get up at you know maybe six seven o'clock uh as far as mom and dad They've pretty much always been on the Elvis schedule, and I guess they always will. They uh, they stay up pretty much all night long, uh, like they always did. 
Uh, it ranges. I mean, they may get to bed anywhere from four or five in the morning to eight or nine o'clock in the morning and then get up, you know, late afternoon, five, four, five, six o'clock, three o'clock. Uh, just, you know, really just depends, but they pretty much keep the Elvis schedule. Mm -hmm. And the last one, did Uncle Vernon marry Sandy? Uncle Vernon, uh, no, he did not. Uh, and you're talking Sandy Miller. They did not get married. Uh, and after Vernon passed away, I, the last I talked to her son, Rory, we were best friends. Uh, they lived somewhere in uh, Colorado. I'm, I'm not sure what part. It's been a long, long time since uh, since I've talked to, to Rory. But as far as I remember, they never got married, no. Okay. Uh, another thing I wanted to just kind of touch on is it's, it's been kind of sad that uh, – and we had actually had a video on it. It got messed up, but I'm going to bring mom and dad back into it. But I, I'm going to tell you my thoughts on it. Was uh, It's been said that, that the colonel made Elvis uh, who, who he was today. And uh, my opinion on that is no, nothing against the colonel. The colonel was great. Uh, was always nice to us. Did, you know, did wonderful things for us as, as Elvis. But the colonel did, did not make Elvis. To me... Uh, I mean, Elvis had a, a, it's like I've said before, it's, it's hard to explain, a unique, not only did he did he have the voice, the looks, the charisma, just the presence. I, I mean, Elvis Presley was just, to me, meant to be Elvis Presley. And if there was any one person that was put on this earth uh, to do something special, then it would be Elvis Presley. But, uh now, the colonel was a lot of fun. I'll tell you another little joke, uh, <laughs> not joke, but a little story. Uh, one time that uh, when I was little, we lived out in California. Uh, the guys would put me up to doing stuff, and I think it was Richard Davis that, that actually put me up to going up and asking the colonel, did he have any money? Of course, daddy's like, oh, you know, and they're, they're rushing me out of the room because I'd pretty much do anything that uh, that somebody put me up to. But just kind of wanted to share that with you because, like I said, I, I – you know, and then again, I don't want to leave leave the family out. Let's let's face it. I mean, if it wasn't for y'all, my Elvis family, there would be no Elvis Presley. But luckily that we're all here today. We all get to share events. Uh, looking forward to, matter of fact, looking forward to the uh, June event. I think it's going to be June the third through the seventh, isn't it, Teresa? Yeah. And. Uh, Tupelo. So, hey, if you can make it, come down. It's kind of like a, a Elvis week, uh, but it's a little, little bit shorter, but it's fantastic. They do the, the, the tribute artists. They have all kinds of stuff going on, but we're going to be there. Looking forward to being there. And then, of course, we're looking forward to being there uh, Elvis week in August. In Memphis. In Memphis. That's correct. So with that, I, I just want to say, hey, thank all y'all for hanging in there with me. Got one more special thing I want to say. We're fixing to run, and we're going to get back into a contest. We're going to give away uh, three shirts and two autographed pictures. I think it's time to get back. Uh, Teresa will tell you how I'll, you. I'll post them under the comments under this video, but basically you'll need to make sure you have your shirt size. You can send an index card or postcard. Uh, please print out your name where, you know, we'll be able to write it out if we draw you. Um, you're going to send it to the post office box, PO, Memphis Mafia Kid, P.O. Box 1521, Sotillo, Mississippi, 38866. But like I said, I'll have all that. Look for it in the comments underneath this video. There you have it. And look, remember, we always live Elvis. <laughs>